All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and fellow fishing accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So this is part two of the North Shore June Striped Bass Kayak Fishing Extravaganza. Well, that's a mouthful that I say it out loud. Uh, but yeah, as promised, here it is. This is going to pick up right where I left off in the last video. So if you didn't check out that video, definitely make sure to check it out. Um, I'll make sure to link that in the description. Also in the description, I was fishing with my friend David from Funky Fishing. Check out his channel. Uh, we both started fishing in the shallows at the, you know, daybreak. And after a while, that bite kind of fizzled out. We decided to move to some deeper water, fishing some bait. And we're going to see David catch a very large bass. Check it out. How big? Hold on, let's see. On a bunker? Whatever. Let's get a look at this cow. Dave's, uh, David's got a monster. 44 incher. Oh wow. Damn, son. Yeah. Heck yeah. Dude. Damn, look at the gut on that. that. Look at the, it's, it's so fat. <laughs> you know? Well, we're getting a little shower today. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Today All right. Yeah, definitely check him out on his YouTube channel. Oh. Heck yeah. Fishing, guys. <laughs> That's how we do. All right, I'm gonna keep uh, casting a jig like a sucker, but <laughs> I figure I'm gonna go down swinging. Excellent. So if you watched the last video, you might remember, I went into this trip pretty much telling myself I would not fish with bunker. And that's what I tried to do after David got that fish. Uh, but the bunker were spotty though present, but at this time I just could not get a fish to hit a lure. So I decided to switch things up pretty soon and it's a good thing that I did. So let's check that out. No joke right now. You gotta want it. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, it's like a washing machine. All right, it's been a grind the last two hours. Can't make these fish hit artificials. So we're gonna give it one last go with bunker. Obviously, Dave got that giant, and on our way to get there, we're going to fish this, or sorry, drink this Trader Joe's sparkling water. This is blueberry lemonade. Let's give it a try. Well, it definitely delivers on the blueberry, and a little bit of lemonade. I put a, I put this up there with like your polars and things like that, uh, but pretty tasty. Well, anyways, while you're here, please make sure to like and subscribe. Definitely check out David's channel. Let's see if we can end this day proper and get one more big bass. If not, this will probably be the lead into the outro. So, wish me luck. These two shots at this. We've got one bunker on the line, one in the bag. Gonna work this structure. See if there's any big girls around still. Love to get one solid cow before this, this bite is over might be my last chance for this uh, spring. Gotten some big, some nice fish, but no huge fish, uh, with the only exception being that one uh, that we got, unfortunately, when we snagged. Uh, and that was a nice fish, but again, compared to David's night and day, his was so much, that was such a thick fish. Finally, finally, took all day. Woohoo! Jeez. Holy sh dude. <laughs> this is a heavy rod too. Oh my god. Dude. This one's night and day bigger than anything else I've gotten today.
Dude. Yeah, I don't want to crash in your motor. Just you got like a legit setup there. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> That's lower low 40 I think. Oh. Like Woo. That's a big boy. Big boy. Let's get an official shot of this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's get an actual like measure of this guy. Just about 40. That's about 40 inch fish. <laughs> Lighting down pretty good. She's good. Woo! We got one more bunker saved up. Let's see if we can get one more big bass. That one was nice, but we can still get above that. So let's see what we can do. See lice all over my legs right now. See if we can get one more, and then I'm happy to get out of here. Can't really hold bottom because the current is ripping. Well, someone got a hold of him. He's on, he's on. We're on. I thought it wasn't on. Jeez. Lucky break. Another nice one. <sighs> thought I thought I dropped him, but no. Another 20, 15, 20 pounder. Small for these fish. And we kept our bunker. Oh. Let's keep the bunker. Sim it down now. Another really solid. <laughs> Heck yeah. bass and uh we kept the bunker so if they're gonna hit it i'm gonna keep fishing it <laughs> that one wasn't as big as the last one but it was still a solid you know like 15 sub 15 pound bass thereabouts so let's see if we can get one more because we know we can get bigger let's see if we can get that fish that's in the class of the one that david got a little bit earlier we can do with the mangled bunker i'll give it the better part of like 15 20 minutes but if there's no takers we're just gonna call it we've already had a better day than we were hoping for 10 minutes if we get bites we'll keep working it but unless that happens we're uh gonna start winding things down
Already getting bit. Already. Spit it. You took it. Yeah, it's gone. Last run took my bunker, but let's try something a little different. This worked for me last week, a weightless Elias Shad. Um, on the same getup, stuck to doing this last week, so let's see if it happens this week. Be Shad on the circle hook, on the sliding weight. Even if I just get one hit, it'll uh, be worth it. Got him. Got him. On the Elias Shed. Let's go. That did not take long at all. Artificial action. Let's go. Come on, be a cow. It's not a small fish, I'll say that. Not a small fish. That did not take long at all, too. Just gotta try new things. And it's a cow. Let's go. Let's go. This is what we've been waiting for, folks. If this is our last striper session of the year, it's been worth it. Oh, that might be bigger than the one I got earlier. That might give... He's big. He's not huge, but he's very big. Let's go. We made the right choice today, folks. That is a chunky mama. <laughs> mm, let's go. Another 20 plus pounder. <sighs> Not getting huge, huge fish, but <sighs> let's go. That's at least like 36, 37 inches, all just gut. Look at that gut on that, that mama. Let's get her back. If we get one that's really, like that bitch is 37, 38. Last week it's a sliding uh, sinker, just like the bunker set up. And we got the Elias shot on the bottom because there are bunker around, but they are not in good snagging form right now. And if they are going to take this, uh, why even bother? So let's see if we can get one or two more and then we will likely call it a day. All right, we're gonna try this. Uh, there was a bunker, of course, once I undo the bunker rig. Uh, we're gonna try this one more time with the lure, see if we can make it happen. If not, we are done. Time is it. It's 11.20, so 10 minutes, 11.30, if nothing, we're out of here. I've already exceeded my expectations for the day, but let's see if we can just do just a little bit better. Fish the traditional Elias Speed Shad, two ounce jig head, and we'll try casting it, cover a little more territory, see if we get more active fish. And vertical jig too. It is deep, so marking fish really all over the place. Got him. Got him that time. Got him that time. On the artificial. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big fish. Big money. Big money. Big money. Jeez. He's just chilling. She's just chilling. 
got some weight and we can wait no oh dang really nice fish let's try that again that one hurt that was a good fish he was just chilling just chilling but let's see if we can get another as long as this tide's ripping we got a shot Let's not let this be the, the day that that fish got away. We have a, having a great day, but that one was at least felt in the same caliber as that one we got earlier. And we know there's huge fish in here. More passes, nothing, we gotta call it. It's getting nasty out. We're lucky we even got this second flurry of action on artificials. Really didn't want to end with that loss though. Even if I get like a mediocre sized fish, that'd be a nice end. Way to send out this video. Definitely not as many fish around as there were two. There's still a few, but it's spottier. Let's give it one more try. Let's run, this is it, we're going back home. I can't be here all day today. I need to rest. <laughs> but let's see if we can go down swinging. It's getting nasty too, so we got that. Yes, yes. What do we got? Barely fighting. Now he's fighting, now he's fighting. No! I just lost another one. Snap me off. Not good, not good. And I'm trying to get out of here, I really am. But then crap like that happens, so we gotta try again. Got to try again. Ton of bait right here. We can do it. Come on. Selves for that. Got to redeem ourselves. Which I swear, like that thing that felt like it was nothing. It felt like I snagged a bunker. Then all of a sudden, it was just, you know, lights out, dump and drag. Probably was swimming up with the current, and then once it knew what was going on, it was a completely different story. Probably should have kept a better eye on that leader because I've been, you know, fishing that thing all day. But whatever. Live and learn. I gotta know when to quit and I'm done. I could keep fishing, but I gotta rest at home. We had a good day, so we're gonna troll our way back. I seriously doubt we're gonna catch anything, but if we do, we will bring you back in. Okay, so that's gonna do it for today. Uh, definitely an interesting session. We tried to really cover all the baits today between bait, light tackle, and heavier tackle, and succeeded in some level. Uh, unfortunately, some of those really large fish that we almost stuck at the end got away, and it's heartbreaking to let those fish go and end on that note, but we had a fun time, and there'll be future times. So yeah, thank you for watching. Big shout out to my uh, friend David. He featured me in his last video or video we did together and I didn't make one because I really didn't have a great day so definitely go check him out there's a link in the description of his uh, YouTube channel and hopefully we'll do something like this again at some point uh, this very well might be my last spring bass session so more stuff is on the way so do stay tuned I'll catch you in the water next time and of course goodbye from fishing